Hi there, here's another Red Room audio quickie. This time around we'll be focusing on the percussion in Symphonic Sketchpad, the flagship library of our palette orchestral series. The expansive selection we've included encompasses all the standard orchestral percussion and many extra surprises too, like hand percussion, trailer drums and several tonal percussion instruments. In fact, we believe Pallet's percussion is comparable in scope to many dedicated orchestral percussion libraries on the market, but it's only a part of what you get in Symphonic Sketchpad, making it outstanding value. Before we dig in, here's a short chase cue using just four of the percussion patches. As you can see, just four tracks are needed to create a very large sound with lots of different percussion parts going on. We specifically designed it like this with many instruments contained in each patch so that you can fit the maximum sound into the minimum number of tracks, useful for those on mobile rigs or if you want to simplify your template. Take the main orchestral percussion patch as an example. There are 11 different instruments here with multiple performance styles mapped across the keyboard with different color keys, making it easy to tell them apart. Each individual instrument group has controls for volume, panning, a four band EQ and tuning, which we've used here to pitch up some of the instruments in the queue for a more fast paced feel. You can even unload the instruments you don't need to save RAM, which turns those keys white. Use this option if you prefer the old school method of having just one instrument per track. There's no compromise on performance either, each instrument has a range of sample dynamics and many round robins. In line with the entire palette range, three mic positions are available to be mixed, something we made use of here to push the larger drums back into the hall for a sense of space, whilst bringing others like the hand percussion closer for a more immediate sound. Let's take a look at the timpani patch. We use the EQ and envelope controls to brighten the tone, punch up the attacks, and shorten release ambience so it doesn't overwhelm this busy mix. Unlike other libraries where you might need to do lots of complex transient shaping and under the hood programming, these are super easy adjustments within the palette interface. The powerful trailer drums patch was introduced recently in palette's free version 1.1 update. It includes several six-player ensembles on grand cassas, taikos, detuned timpanis, snares, toms, tupans and hand percussion. Here we've used the onboard effects rack to add compression and saturation, making those big performances even more in your face. Another very handy feature available on almost every percussion instrument in the library is the mod wheel roll functionality. Most instruments have conveniently mapped keys for left and right playing, a dedicated key for repetitions, and additional keys for recorded rolls. Just hold a roll key and ride the mod wheel for a completely convincing performance. There's even a roll to hit control to add an automatic hit on key release. Total drama right there. Again we want to reiterate that this cue was written using just four of the percussion patches. There are another 16 patches included in Palette's Symphonic Sketchpad covering the entire orchestra and beyond. Strings, brass, woodwinds, choirs, concert piano and harp, trailer tools and even a synth. All deeply sampled with a wide range of articulations and techniques. We invite you to explore them now at redroomaudio.com and thanks so much for watching.